Chrome changed how we browse the internet, but that era might finally be ending. OpenAI just dropped Atlas, a browser built around AI instead of just adding it. And it could be the first real Chrome killer. In the last six months, everyone's tried to bolt AI onto the browser. Perplexity did it. GenSpark did it. Anthropic rolled out its new Claude browser to a thousand early users. It can view the browser. They say this kind of thing is inevitable. But all of them still feel like patchwork. Atlas is different. It's not an extension. It's not a sidebar. It's a full browser built by the people who made ChatGPT. That means the model and the interface were designed to talk to each other from the start. When you open a page, Atlas doesn't just read text, it understands the page. They say it is a browser that will come with you anywhere across the web. Ask it a question, rewrite a paragraph, summarize an article, or cross-reference a claim, all inside the same window. No new tabs, no copy-paste, no switching apps. This matters because Chrome still treats AI as a plug-in. Atlas treats it as the default interface. It's faster, more natural, and backed by the world's most familiar AI system, GPT. And here's where it gets brutal. Atlas could completely wipe out an entire market, AI sidebar extensions. Every product in the Chrome store that says we add chat GPT to your browser, obsolete the moment Atlas hits Windows. Think about it. Thousands of small developers, entire startups, all built on top of Chrome's limitations. OpenAI just built a browser that removes those limitations entirely. Anthropic's new Claude browser is trying to compete, but it's limited access and around a thousand users right now. And that exclusivity might actually kill it, because GPT's reach is massive. The moment Atlas launches on Windows, millions of users will already have an open AI account, a chat history, and a reason to switch. That's not just a new browser, that's an ecosystem migration waiting to happen. Chrome's biggest weakness has always been friction. Everything takes another click, another tab, another plugin, another account. Atlas collapses that into one flow. It doesn't add features, it replaces them. And right now it's only available for Mac. Windows, iOS, and Android are coming soon. But make no mistake, OpenAI isn't just competing with search engines anymore. They're coming for the web itself. When the Windows version drops, I'll be testing it live. Atlas versus Chrome versus Claude. Subscribe if you want to see which one actually survives the browser wars.